Okay, I just want to kind of go through um, what was called bad work. I was asked to do any and all questions for attorneys. So um, my boss was telling me to write anything that I could think of if you were to talk to an attorney that I would want to be talked about. And he said this was bad work. Let's see if it is. What do you guys think? So the first question I thought of was about beta test groups. A beta is... Um, the secondary model of an app, so basically the one that is not quite the finished product, but uh, ready to launch to be tested, and intellectual property rights. If you want to create a test group of users operating the beta prior to launch, is there a way to keep it legally binding and confidential among the group? I want to make sure that his idea isn't leaked. That's what I'm asking. What if you send out the beta? What if you send out the beta? Does that change the rights as compared to an in-house controlled group using computers? I was wondering if it changed the law in any way. I don't think these are bad questions. He said this is a total waste of his time and was complete crap. Can you apply confidentiality contracts? Makes sense. Well, a beta a testing group is someone who tests your app, but I want to make sure that they can't test it and then go send it to their friend and then their friend builds it. If they send it to their friend who is out of contract, does that exempt their friend if you, can, if you can't prove that they send it to them? So what I was suggesting is that maybe your beta group should be in person and they should sign things instead of sending it to people who send it to other people who might be out of contract. I don't think these are bad questions. I think they're very good questions. Copyright. What steps do we need to take to copyright the idea? If we do a copyright, does this mean we can also apply to a patent? How detailed can our copyright be? Does being too detailed limit us to a specific look slash functionality that no longer protects us from the general idea of being stolen? It's a great question. Do you need a copyright for entire nation or only one state? How protected does one state make you? How are we protected? Does one national copyright make it, for example, international competitors? Again, does it work against us to be too specific about what we're copywriting? See, the idea that I'm asking is, if we make it too specific and say, well, this is how we work, then someone could come in, steal your idea, and go slightly bigger than that, and it would not be considered theft, because it's not exactly. So I'm wondering, is it better to keep it more general or much more specific? That makes full sense. Trademark. Is the title something that needs to be trademarked, or does a domain name and LLC registration Suffice. Trademark a brand, including what? Is it a different application than just a title alone? Yeah. Good question. How do we create a non-disclosure agreement? Are the general template? Are there general templates, or is there something a lawyer should specifically draft for us? Who should do this? Can it be applied to just employees, beta tester groups? I want to know who can can sign these. But that makes total sense. Patents take two to three years, but protect functionalities and variations. So I'm pointing to that there's a difference that patents are better by rivals. How expensive is this? If we can do this in addition to copyrights or is it one or the other? A provisional patent protects for one year but it takes two to three years to go through officially. What happens in the time between and how can we continue to keep it protected? I want to know if we can get a patent and because it is in theory way better. In preparation for any rivals who are trying to jack the idea, should we be keeping record of what should we be keeping record of and documenting? What platform is best and what means are easiest to prove in court? It's a great question. When it comes to distribution, does uploading from a third party company affect ownership rights compared to using your own account? It's a great question. If you have employees driving on company time, in the state of Minnesota, do you need a company insurance or can you have them verify personal insurance for both driver and passenger? Yep. Can asking attractive employees to use their attractiveness to gain things from other employees be illegally problematic? Can hiring as attractiveness as a factor that is not stated in the interview or not being specifically overtly hired for a problem? I know that it is. I'm just bringing it up to him. Is there a difference between being asked to appear food conscious and healthy and fit and discrimination for being attractive or not? If you work from home and use 
house as home office where employees and potential clients frequent do you need liability insurance on site are weekly employees meetups in person or virtual chargeable time periods aka does company need to pay them so this is what i sent to him and he said this is bad work is it <laughs>